ladies and gentlemen, they're getting ready to go up on taxes as if we're not paying enough because they claim is to filter out all of the forever chemicals in the water after making us ingest that stuff for years and years and years. Such smart people, those high IQs are just working, aren't they? <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it. Anything to bilk you out of money. Water systems warn Americans could soon see a major rate hike to filter out toxic forever chemicals. Yeah, y'all put them in there and then everybody else got to pay. Why don't you make the company or the businesses that put all of this forever chemicals in the water, why don't you take the money from them? I'm just saying. So in exchange for cleaner water, Americans around the nation may soon have to pay a hefty price. Water systems are starting to warn residents of massive rate hikes as they prepare to install technology to filter out toxic chemicals known as PFAS. Utilities from South Florida to upstate New York have warned customers they could see a significant price increase after the Environmental Protection Agency, you know, the EPA, the one that told Palestine, Ohio, it was safe to drink smelly water. <laughs> yeah, that EPA mandated that they would remove the substances which have been linked to a number of cancers and other diseases from their systems. Last month, the EPA said it will require utilities whose water systems contain high levels of PFAS. They're ordering them to remove them from the water. PFAS is a part of a group of a thousand of chemicals that are used to make a variety of non-stick and waterproof products from firefighter foam. Substances have also become ubiquitous in the environment due in part to the fact that they tend to persist for a long time instead of breaking down. Exposure to these so-called forever chemicals have been linked to increased risk of prostate kidney and testicular cancers, weakened immune systems, high cholesterol, developmental issues in children. Now, for the first time, utilities around the nation will be required to get them out of the drinking water to prevent customers from exposure, which you already got exposure. Come on. I mean, even the articles years ago were admitting that we're all exposed to it. Remember, I even did the story on it being in the toilet paper. We're all exposed to it. I mean, you're preventing customers from exposure. Who the hell are you people trying to fool for real? What a joke. Last month, officials with Broward County, a populous Florida location, warned residents that those on county water could see double or triple the water rates for users. Alan Garcia, director of Broward County Water and Wastewater Services, told The Hill an average monthly bill for water is currently $26. He agreed to the amount that could potentially triple the county filter out process of PFAS. So they paid $26 and it's about to triple for Florida residents. His utility has 66,000 accounts, representing an estimate of 230,000 people. Fort Worth, Texas officials have warned of the consequences for rate payers ahead of the EPA setting the rule last month. It's going to be expensive. It's going to impact our rate payers. 
and we're going to do everything possible so that we get some federal support in terms of funding but we're going to have to move forward this is according to fort worth water director chris harder in wake of the rule water suppliers in the buffalo new york area also said pfos filtration could affect rates according to the buffalo news the higher water bills will not be contained to these few communities. So they're saying this is going to happen all over the country, y'all. Everyone all over the country is going to get a double or triple bill. And you know how it is. Once it goes up, it never comes down. So this is what you're going to be paying from now on. It'd be my bill too. You know, and just think, we don't even drink tap water in my house. But we're going to now pay an astronomical bill for water that we don't even drink. Wow. So it's not entirely clear yet what water systems will need to filter out PFAS. So they're saying they know they're going to do this, but right now they don't even know how they're going to do it. Mm -mm -mm. So they said they are going to look into installing utilities that will uh, filter the PFAS out. So it means that many of the consumers around the country we'll probably see um, about a six to 10% of their water system ultimately found to contain PFAS at levels that require action. So, wow. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of angry people in this country when this occurs. Water providers recently settled a major class action lawsuit. Yeah, there was one filed around where I am because uh, there was contamination in one of the wells and the township did not notify anybody. You know how we found out? We found out on the local news that there was contamination but the water company themselves did not say anything to the residents. After it aired on the news, they suddenly sent something in the mail explaining what was going on. So uh, don't be surprised if you got a rate height and at that very moment you find out that your water's contaminated with PFAS, but I think most people, I would hope that most people in this country know this. Maybe not. I don't know. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. We already pay enough. Now these people are getting ready to milk the, uh, the entire country out of more money. Like we're not paying enough up in here. Mm, mm, mm. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. <music>